What up Fortnite fam, I'm Matt, and today it's update day once again. In fact, this is the very last update of Chapter 2 Season 6, meaning in two weeks time, we'll be out of the primal age and into something brand new. But before we can even begin to think about anything like that, Let's go over everything new in update 16.50 in under 5 minutes. As usual, let's go over the patch notes to Epic as revealed on Twitter first. First up, a fan favourite has made its way out of the vault. Starting with this patch, you'll be able to use the rare and epic dual pistols once again. We're not really sure if this is the ultimate fan favourite weapon that everyone was hoping for, but it should at least be fun to cut through builds and eliminate enemies with the dualies once more. Next, Creative has had yet another update, allowing players to survey and oversee larger spaces. That's right, extra large islands are now in the game to be used. Finally, you'll be able to spend your bars big in the next wild week, starting on June 3rd. We're not sure exactly what this one is alluding to, but next week's wild week sounds like it's going to be a pretty fun time. With that all done, let's take a quick look at the map this patch. And nothing's changed once again, so the map is going to be basically the same for this last patch of the season. Okay, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's take a look at all of the leaked cosmetics in this patch. First up, we've got the skins. There's the Spartan Assassin, the Fixer, Dizzy, Kiara, Lockbot, and the Spire Immortal. There's also the Champion skin, but it's likely that only people who make it to the Grand Finals or even just those who win the FNCS will be able to obtain it. Next up, let's take a look at the harvesting tools. We've got the Lockpick, the Rebel Slice, the Vanguard Flame, and the Spire Shard. Back blings next, there's the Shots and Shells, Extra Round, Reckoning, Lock Block, Warrior's Wheel, and the Spire's Touch. It looks like there's only one glider, but it's a pretty cool one. We've got the Deathstroke Destroyer, which means there's definitely a Deathstroke skin coming soon. Last but certainly not least, the wraps. We've got the Nightlife, Cosmic Flare, X Marks, and the Perfect Spectrum. Since this is the last patch of the season, it looks like we might be getting some not so subtle hints in the files of both the event and what might be to come in the next season of Fortnite. And it looks like things are going to be out of this world. Literally. There have been a whole bunch of new files added to the game that either reference aliens or outright talk about them, like this audio clip of someone called Dennis talking to someone about UFOs and aliens. If there's one thing I've learned about this UFO stuff, it's that there are way more of us believers than you'd expect. There's also some really, really weird chattering sounds relating to the foreshadowing quest that, well, really, they just sound alien. Now, we've had aliens on the Fortnite island quite a lot over the past seasons, including the legendary Xenomorph and the Predator, but this might be something brand new and original to the Fortnite universe, and may even be leading to an entirely alien-themed season, which would be pretty cool. I mean, there's even this animation found by Gameshed on Twitter of what looks like your character being abducted by aliens. According to Hypex, a UFO will randomly spawn around the map and then abduct a player or even an entire squad, and then teleport you somewhere else, healing your HP and shields in the process. There's a warning before you get yoinked, but Hypex doesn't know if you get to avoid it or not, or when this new mechanic will even be activated. There's also some leaks towards the other storyline that has been building over the past few patches, of the OPSEC level truck. We now have radio sounds for a downed helicopter that sound like this, truck inbound, OPSEC level three. as well as a new black helicopter model in the game files. Back on the crossover hype, the new crew loading screen has now been released, and on the left hand side of the image, it very clearly looks like we have a silhouette of Loki in his classic Avengers 1 costume, including his staff. With the new Loki show coming out next month, it's not surprising that Marvel are looking to do a little bit of advertising in-game. Okay, Fortnite fam, that's it for today's update. If you found this video helpful, remember to leave a like and subscribe with the bell on so you never miss another upload. I'll see you all in two weeks' time when we get to experience the brand new Chapter 2 Season 7 map for the very first time. Oh, <laughs>